All right. Cheers, dear. Cheers. I'm here again. You're twice, here again. Twice in one twice week. Twice a week. Awesome. Let's make it more. I like you. Yeah, I like you too. People like you. People like you. <laughs> and other people. This is episode number 99, which I can't believe. 99. Andy, can you believe it's been 99 of these things? Yes. There was, 100 comes next. <laughs> She's like, like, yes, I can't believe it. <laughs> there, were, there was like a time period where we did five. We did That's one right. every day. That was That's intense. Right. That was intense. That was like really, twice we don't need that. Feels good. So, Especially because some <clears> mornings we come in and we're like, what are we going to talk about? And we're like trying to brainstorm. And some sometimes, mornings? Yeah. No, I actually really thought about today's. Um, because we had a well, no, a come at in. midnight last night we were like, "crap, what are we going to talk about tomorrow?" And then you bring something. That's, it. A, that's how most of this goes. Little dirty, see, dirty little secret. We we posted what two hundred and forty three videos last year. Yep. yep. Most of them happen at eleven o'clock on some random night because that's, that's when of. there's time. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Today we are talking about the Banu hexagons. Yes. These came in during the holiday season, kind of got overlooked. Oh, there was like a lot going on. Right before, either it's right before or right after Christmas. I don't remember. But they're cool pens, and so they're so interesting. We've had this New Year's edition for a little while now, um, just over 45, you know, just over six, seven weeks or so, yeah. somewhere around there. Um, so we still have some in stock. Um, this is the one they came out with first in celebration of their of New Year's. <laughs> their New Year's. Tell me more, Rachel. <laughs> it's a New Year's limited edition. I feel like we talked about this one before, but it's, it is numbered out of 500. It is. So we do have some left. So these will go away, but the rest of the ones that we're going to talk so about gonna, yeah. are regular editions. So what is, sorry, I should look at your notes. I'm like, I'm leading Let this. Me lead what this is thing, the Rachel? hexagon? What is Banu? Great question. What is a pen? So, um. <laughs> we're not going to answer that. What is a pen? Who, what are all of us? What is life? Anyway. <clears throat> so let's talk about the other pen. So we have had the Chameleon and the Briolette for a little while, right? And um, I don't even know that we carry these particular colors. These are from my sample bin. Um, but they have the same number five Schmidt German num um, stainless steel nibs. Mm -hmm. um, extra fine through broad. Yep. So we did the broad, writing experience we did, is going to be the same. Say, we didn't have broad out of the gate when we first launched. We added broad a little further into the game. We never really made an announcement or fanfare about it. Yeah. So I'm just advocating... For all the broad lovers out there, take a look at the new. Be decent. So the, the, the shape of the pen is different, but the writing experience is going to be the same. And the overall, I don't even know how to describe Aesthetic. the design of these things, <laughs> but um, you can see there's like swirly different colors with glitter and like large chunks of, you know, uh, I don't know, glitter? foil, I guess? Well, the, the, big, the big thing about the hexagon is the... Hexagon, Shape. yeah. Um, you know, so it's um, it's it these, a these it has are, like a honeycomb kind of pattern. Well, I was gonna say these it. are more faceted. Um, this is it's kind of triangular, but it's with some flat corners. This has like it's all like kinds of shade, the diamond light. facets going on. This is round all the way around, but it has a hexagon cutout pattern to it. Yeah, and and the, there is a texture to it. If you're familiar at all with the Retro 51 Buzz pen. Yeah, it's a It's lot almost like, like that. the reverse of that. The Buzz, like the honeycomb pattern is kind of raised up. This one, it's kind of depressed into the pen. So, the so it feels pretty smooth, but if you're if you're weird about texture, Some then... people are really weird about texture. On the team, we have some people that love this pen and some people that can't stand to touch it. It's very a, very few I people can't like stand to touch it, but it is a thing. It's a lot like the Twisby 580 ALR. You either love it or you hate it. Like it's, But it's, it's not even that. It's not even it's that. It's like food. It's like a texture thing. Yeah, maybe. So, But the, the, the grip itself is completely smooth. It's a little bit translucent here. And I do like the grip of it better than, say, the Briolette, right? Because the Briolette has a very, it's a very sharp drop-off there. Oh, from the, the body. Yeah, so for me, I mean, it's a pretty long well, grip you, anyway. And you look, yeah, the, the grip is much longer on yeah. the... So Sorry, I, need to I have larger hands, I have long fingers. Mm -hmm. For me, out of all the Banu pens, the Hexagon actually feels most comfortable in my hand because of the long grip. And you, you're touching the threads a little bit maybe, depending on your grip, but the threads are really squared off and they're very soft, they're not sharp, so um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really impede It is experience. postable for people who like that. It posts securely too. It does. It's yeah. That's not flying the, off. The chameleon one, <laughs> the chameleon one, it has to like click on the back of it to post. Well, and there are notches. You know? Yeah, like and there's, that little, it and there's little notches. But um, on this one, there's no notches or, or anything like that. So all you got to do is jam the thing on there. And it's pretty secure. Just like make that noise. Yeah. The nibs aren't like glassy smooth. I they're would by, say. They're by Schmidt. They're by Schmidt. I would say if you're familiar with Yovo, it's a slightly more tooth than that. Just just a hair. Like just Bach? A hair. Yeah, it's about like Bach. So. 
um, you know, Schmidt, I don't know that they actually manufacture their yeah, own nibs. I, I think was they talking actually... about this um, with, with some people just a couple of days ago about this kind of mystery around Schmidt. Like, do they make their own nibs? You know, there's rumors they've outsourced to Bach. We've heard also, oh, it's a mixture of Bach and Yova. Like, we don't know what's going on exactly. Yeah, I, I don't we know. We don't really know. I don't know if Schmidt manufactures their own nibs. I think they get them made by either Bach or Yovo, depending on they the nib style. They feel more like a Bach. They but, do. They do. You know, some of it just depends on polishing. Which the number five box, uh, to me, are pretty decent. So can, I like them. And if you want a Yovo, you can also swap it out with a Goulet number five nib, which we or have an Edison now. Edison number five, either way. Or like if you want a silver color, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want the gold. Absolutely. So it's a, um, yes, we got that. Uh, the nib units unscrew out of the pen. Excuse me, so that's kind of handy. You can, you can pull the nibs out for maintenance purposes. If you want to, you can, you know, they're friction fit. You can so you can kind of yank them out of there. They do have to fit in kind of a specific way. If you pull the nib and feet out. Yeah, actually. Is that what you just did? No, it's round. It just goes in there, so you can put it back in whichever way you want. Oh, or you can take now the whole unit out. It. Yeah, or you can unscrew the unit. Which let me. Yeah, I guess if you're putting one of our nibs in, you'd need to take the nib and feet out, replace the nib. See, now and I'm push curious what in. the thread pattern in is on the housing. I did not test that. So it's but. cartridge converter. Um, do any of these have a converter in them? Standard International, um, it should, the New Year's one should. So I'm about to have a couple of converters here. Standard International comes with a converter, comes with a couple cartridges too. There we go. Um, there you go, see I'm curious Full size now. converter. Um, Does it take a long cartridge? Probably, I'm pretty Good sure. Good question. Keep going through that, I'm gonna grab a. If I had the product page open, it, it's on our product page, I just can't remember. <laughs> um, or can you eyedropper this thing? It should. Yes. Yes, it should. Although you haven't done like long-term testing on it, but it all signs appear it should be eyedropperable. Um, yeah, there's no clip on it. That's another thing to note. Actually, none of our the new pens have a clip, right? Yeah, but the the texture and like kind of the little facets on the center band do keep it from rolling off your desk, so it doesn't really need a clip. This would be a really yeah. odd one to clip. Yeah, just the shape. It's more weird. or less got like a built-in roll stop. I'm just curious if this Yovo thread pattern is the oh, same. Oh, we didn't talk about what the colors are. So the names are a little interesting. You have like the New Year's limited edition. The other ones are just called Hexagon. Well, there's A through F. We carry C, D, and E. Um, we kind of when it with the new brand. Sometimes we don't carry the full thing out of the gate until we know how it's going to do. We start with what we think the best colors are going to be, and then if it's really successful, then we can keep adding more. So we started with the C, D, and E. So the C is this um, black and red gray thing going on here. This is the C. The Would you call that black? C. I think it's kind of silver. Oh, right? this it's is the... absolutely black. Maybe it's because of the glitter in there. Oh yeah, it seems kind of silver. There's all kinds of glitter in here. But no, that is that is definitely black. Okay. Um, and then the D is this mermaid looking blue, purple, teal, green, gold thing. <laughs> this it's so catchy, Rachel. This is the most popular one. Um, this is the hexagon D. And then finally is the E, which is predominantly green with black. And then you got some gold chunks of glitter all throughout there so if you are into flashy chunks, you're really selling it dear there's sparkles you can't go wrong with sparkles lots if, of sparkles if lots you're of... into flashy showstopper -y pens these are definitely the pens for you heck yeah so i just tested out just because i was curious and i didn't even think about this last night when i was making the notes but um i just tried swapping it out with both a yovo number no. five and a bach number no. five i haven't neither seen this pen fit. in a long time neither of which fit so schmidt clearly does their own housings so i don't know how to tell which which place the nib comes from it's all speculation Do you want to ink one up yes because but we wanted to test out one of the inks because we got questions on monday yes about benetoit benetoit is advertised as document proof and no. we haven't fully tested what that means yet and Let's you guys are like what does that mean is it waterproof we're like, yes, we completely forgot to cover that on Monday. So here we are. We're yep. going to test it out. Let's ink up this bad boy. So I got this in an extra fine. I really like this extra fine, honestly. It's it's surprisingly extra fine. Um, do you have a, That's the box. Can you have me a tissue there, dear? Oh, thanks, Andy. <laughs> Andy's not dear to me. <laughs> Just let you know. <laughs> that was intended for Rachel. <laughs> 
I like you, Indy, a lot, but you know. All right. Not that much. No, 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 no. Anyway, right. Okay. No, not awkward this at all. This is awkward for everybody okay. right now. So try this out, Rachel. I know you're not a fan of extra funds. I don't like extra funds. But it is very extra fun. Like, especially for um, a German nib. It's pretty smooth. It's, it's got a fine. little it's more fine. It's tooth. a little more tooth, yeah. Well, I like broads and, and really smooth mediums. Fair enough. But you know what? This is, I don't hate it. That says something. For Rachel. Oh, you can get like, if you press hard, you can get like a little bit of line variation a out of it. A little bit. On the extra fine, you'll see that, yeah, just because you're forcing it. It's not really like a flex per se, but you you can if you try. So if you have, if you write with more. So do some, if do you some write... cross hatches. I want to try and get a little water water test here. Oh, cross hatches. So like. Yeah, I'll do a little drip test. I'm going to bother everyone oh, who's like, it's a dock rate. You're not writing on the dock rates. I'm going fast. <laughs> Should I? Is that going to bother? Should I? Oh, it's already done, Rachel. See, now it's gonna take. It, see, it takes so much time. See, I'm not even straight. What are you doing? I'm writing on the dots. Okay, I'm gonna just get a Q-tip wet. I'm gonna. Uh, I like Ooh. to give it. I like to give it a minute or so. Yeah, we can do a live, live test. Ooh. And he's like, "Can you do this so I don't have to?" Moment shoot of truth. We after? advertise it as document proof, and if it's not, then we gotta change that product right, page. So I gotta wet. And ask Lamy okay. what's going on. All right, okay. we good? Yep. Yeah. All right, so it's I not bad. Blues normally wash away bad. pretty quick. That's not bad at all. Where's Some people will debate, like, it's smeared a little bit. It's not waterproof. Like, no, not necessarily. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, there's a bunch. So I'll just leave that sitting on there. Now, this is rhodia paper. It's not super absorbent. So this is kind of an extreme test. Um, you're going to see some movement of the ink because there's ink that's sitting on top of the page. It hasn't like absorbed into yeah, the Yeah, it paper. hasn't dried yet. And it hasn't really and dried yet. So of, this is, and I put a lot of ink down. This is going to be in the scenario of I'm writing somewhere on really good paper and, and it, it starts immediately raining. starts raining. <laughs> so this is on the more extreme end of the test. Maybe you're writing in the rain. Yeah, so let's like smear this around in the wetness. So how do we define so like, something as water resistant? Wow. Basically, that's really good. That's really good. Just for a perspective here. So like, smearing, that's one thing. And that's usually just the excess ink that's sitting on the paper that hasn't fully absorbed. Basically, our rule kind of is like if you can still fully see what you wrote um, pretty clearly, you know, I'd, I'd call that I'd call that water resistant for sure. So for perspective here, this is Robert Oster Blue Water Ice which is not waterproof at all. So if I put that on. Oh, you can see it like bleed right away. You can right see away. immediately. And then when I start to rub it away. Oh, yeah, look at like that. Disappears. That's gone. Almost. So you see the difference here. So I would I would call this, you know, it's look, it's not like immovably waterproof. But the, my test is, are you going to see the writing? And that's, that's, wow. that's pretty extreme. Really good. So yeah, heck yeah. I would call that waterproof. <laughs> Let's slice that out and put that on the product page. Good job, Benatoy. <laughs> so our apologies for not commenting about that on Monday. That was just, we missed it. Yeah, but, I just forgot that <clears throat> that's a thing. But you all asked about it in the comments, and then we need to talk about it today, which is awesome. That's how this whole thing works. So this is episode 99, which means, what's next, Brian? Uh, what's next is we have another meeting about this in two minutes. No. Oh, you mean for right now. Yeah, uh, episode 100 is next. We have some ideas for what we're going to do, but we're like, you know, maybe we should just ask and see what you all want to see. So if you have any ideas, we have a couple of days to think about it. We're not going to do anything crazy like buy 100 jets or something. I don't know why I said that. We're not going to do anything completely nuts, but what the heck. Just go ahead and throw some ideas out there and maybe it'll give us something What you'd like to see, who you'd do. like to see. Yeah, don't be like, ink up 100 pens. I'm not going to do that. But something fun and interesting. <laughs> clean out 100 pens. Would be kind of fun. <laughs> That's more than a 10-minute video. Maybe 100 pens clean up now. Um, but anyway, I got so some. we hope you really enjoyed this. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and right on. Right on.